it's hard not to love a dog. Dogs just work their way into your heart. Crocodoodles is a network of homes and families helping other families find their forever furry friend. The babies are one week old. I would be considered a guardian home for April and her litter. She has three puppies. Probably the biggest thing is just making sure that mom is taking care of her puppies when they're first born. And then from there, you just wanna make sure that the puppies are doing well and they're healthy. I think people care about dogs because they, they sense from their dog uh, almost an unconditional love. Just feeding the babies. They do. A transition home takes the puppies once they've left their mom, and my job is to make sure they're healthy and they're eating well. My favorite thing to do with the puppies is to snuggle with them, watch my kids with the puppies. My daughter's really good at snuggling timid and scared puppies, so sometimes we just pick up some puppies when we feel like they need to be snuggled. I always tell people when they come to my home that there are dozens and dozens of people behind me that you will never meet. My husband had been in the hospital a great deal, but my husband came home from the hospital on the 25th of January, and we were due to get our first litter of puppies on the 26th of January. So he just could not wait till those puppies came, and, and on Tuesday, when those puppies showed up at our house, he would put them in his lap, he would hold on to them, and he didn't even put them on my kitchen counter. And I would say, oh, please, don't get, 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 get. I don't want the dogs on the puppy. That was so unlike him. He never was like that. Well, since Papa was just coming home from the hospital and since we happened to have all these puppies, you know all these grandchildren had to come by to see the puppies. So one by one, all the grandchildren that live in this area, they came to the house to see both Grandpa and the puppies. And it was, you can imagine, you can imagine the atmosphere in our home that night. It was very exciting. Almost like a circus. <laughs> we were having to bathe the dogs, and I have everybody wanting to hold the puppies, and there's my husband right in the middle, and uh, wanting to hold a puppy too, and they were just all talking and yakking, and, and it was a very festive, wonderful time. But what a joy to know those last days, all the children saw their grandfather for the last time. I love taking care of the puppies. I love playing with them. Um, my grandchildren come around and play with the puppies. But the best part is really meeting the families. Adoption days are busy. They start the night before whenever the puppies get a bath and get ready for their pickup day. And the puppies get their hair brushed and they get a little spray so they smell nice and I get their little goodie bag ready. Sometimes it's sad because you really get attached to the puppies sometimes, but also really happy because they have a new family who really loves them. Most of the doodles are non-shedding or very low shedding. They're much more likely to be hypoallergenic. I can think of a number of customers we've had through the years that had special needs. They needed a service dog. I've had multiple back surgeries. Um, I have a condition where my heart rate and blood pressure are not stabilized. So we thought, well, I need to get some kind of a dog that I can actually train to be a service dog. 
This is Angel and Baby. We got them from Crocodoodles. I named Angel Angel because I knew we would be training her to be a service dog for me. And so I thought she would be like my guardian angel. I had been praying and praying that God would show me which dog I should get. When we picked the puppies out, I was able to get down on the floor and she ran into my lap. I was like, okay, <laughs> like, that must be it. <laughs> and she chose me. I have some families that still regularly text me photos of their puppy and I really enjoy when the families do keep in contact because it's fun to see them grow and change. There's that almost instant bond that you have where it recognizes you now as its new pack. I think the greatest blessing is the opportunity to truly be with the forever families, to meet them, to introduce them to their puppies, but to go beyond that and actually establish relationships. Crocodoodles is a network of homes and families helping other families find their forever furry friend. But the best part is really meeting the families. Dogs just work their way into your heart. There are dozens and dozens of people behind me that you will never meet. It's hard not to love a dog. 